This assignment is called Abstract Art, and this is going to be your independent work. So the first slide just gives you the directions. It says Abstract Art. Use the next slide to move the shapes and line pieces to create a piece of abstract art. Use at least 10 shapes and lines. So then when you click on number two, slide number two, there's a blank page for you to create your own piece of abstract art. Abstract art means it doesn't have to look like anything. So you can look at this picture from slide one as inspiration to get ideas. So then you're going to take the pieces, um, the lines and the shapes, and you're going to drag them on the page and set them up in a way that you like. Now you can manipulate the pieces or change them if you want to. Um, so if I wanted this line to be longer, I could click on it, make it blue, and then take my little plus sign or arrow at the bottom and I can drag it to however long I want it to be. So you can make it longer or if you wanted the line to be shorter, you could also drag it up and make it shorter totally up to you. I think I want this one to be longer. You could also change the line's direction if you want to. So if you click on it, make it blue, you can drag it in the other direction. So if I wanted it to go horizontally instead of vertically, I could. But I think I liked this line vertically, so I'm gonna change it back. Okay, and then you can drag in other pieces. You don't have to change the shapes and sizes of them if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Maybe I just want to keep this the same size and maybe I want to overlap it on top of the other line. Um, I also want to be sure to include some different types of shapes. Now remember, you can overlap shapes um, with your lines or with other shapes or you can have them by themselves. So. This activity is going to make you think about where you're placing the items on the page. Think about where you like the pieces. Okay, if I wanted this to be smaller, again, I can make it, click on it to make it blue. And then I can take this arrow and I can squish it in to make it smaller. Or if I wanted this to be bigger, I could drag it out to make it bigger. Totally up to you. I think I want some small dots. So I might just grab a bunch of these and move them over and make some small dots. Or maybe I want some different size dots on here. Also, if you run out of a shape, you can also click on a shape that you want to duplicate or make a copy off of. So make it blue. And then if I right click with my mouse, you can find the copy button. Click copy. Then click anywhere on your page. Right click on the mouse and click paste. That will give you another shape that you just had. So it makes the same shape for you. So I'm going to play around with these shapes until I get a design that I like. And so you might change your design as well. Like you might start out thinking you're gonna do it one way and then you might end up liking it another way. And that's totally fine. That's part of the art process. Maybe I want to change this direction. I think I want my line going this way.
And maybe I want to change this direction. Totally up to you. Now, the direction said I needed to use at least 10 shapes and lines. So before you submit it, make sure count to see how many shapes and lines you have. If you have 10, then you can submit it for a grade. If you do not have 10, add some more. And you can definitely have more than 10. So you can definitely have more than 10 shapes, but no less than 10. Also, you can change the colors. So if I wanted another circle, but I wanted it to be a different color, I would click on it, make it blue, and then go up here to this um, paint can. It says fill color, and you can click on whatever color you wanted to make it. So if I wanted it red, I could click on it to make it red, and then the outline is purple right now. If I want to change the outline and make the outline red, you click on this little pencil, click on red, and then it will be red or whatever color you want to make it. Oops, that one behind. Sometimes your shape will go behind another shape and you didn't want it that way. If you didn't want it that way, click on the shape and you can click on something called order and then if you click on bring to front, it will bring that shape to the front so you can layer it on top of the other shape. So let me move this back to where I had it. I really liked that like that, but I wanted this red one on there. So I'm going to click on it, order, bring to front. It's already in the front. And then I can move it on top of another shape. And again, so I think I wanted this line in the front. So if I click on the line, make it blue, right click on my mouse, order, bring to front, it will bring that line to the top. I wanna click on this, I wanna change the direction. And you can also bring in your own shapes and lines. So if you don't want to use the shapes and lines that I have on the side, you don't. if you didn't want to make them blue, click them and drag them over onto the page, you can insert your own. So you could go to the insert button, then scroll down to shapes, scroll over, find the shape that you want, click on it, and then click on your page and drag the mouse and that's gonna allow you to make the shape as big as you want it to be. Now I have my shape. Now I wanna change the color to whatever color I want it to be. So I click on the paint can, and then I'm going to click on the color that I like, and then I'm gonna click on the border and click on whatever color I want it to be. And now I have a new shape that I just put in. You can also insert lines by going to insert, going down to line, going over to line and clicking on line. Now this one makes straight lines. If you want a curved line, you would go to curved line. And if you wanted to just draw your own sort of thing, you would go to scribble. So if I wanted a zigzag line, I could go to scribble and I could create my own line. Now, this line looks a little thin for me. It's totally up to you if you want yours thin. If you want to make your line thicker, you can go to the line weight right here. It's a couple bars. And then it allows you to change the thickness of your line. So line weight. If I wanted it really thick, I could make a thick line or a thin line. Totally up to you. All right. Once you have... Oops, I like it black. Once you have your picture the way that you like it, you can go ahead and hand it in. To hand it in, it automatically will save to this picture. 
you just go back to your Google Classroom and click Turn In.